In this video, we are going to discuss Java Virtual Machine that is the JVM. We are having Java Runtime Environment that is our JRE and Java Development Kit that is the JDK. So, let us discuss what are the different components are there, what is the architecture of these three components that is the JVM, JRE and JDK and we shall discuss more into details. So, here is the discussion for you. Let us have a discussion on JVM, JRE and JDK. So, at first we are starting with this JVM. So, JVM is the Java virtual machine which is an abstract machine and using this JVM the Java bytecode executes. JVM performs the following operations. It loads the source code, checks and verifies the source code, it executes the code and provides a runtime environment. So, a JVM provides also the definition for the memory area, class file format, register set, garbage collected heap and fatal error reporting. So, JVM is a specification where working of Java virtual machine is specified, but implementation provider is independent to choose the respective algorithm and its implementation has been provided by Oracle and by other companies. Its implementation is known as JRE, that is the Java Runtime Environment. So, runtime instance, whenever we write Java command on the command prompt to run the Java class, an instance of JVM will be created. So, now we are going to concentrate on the JVM architecture. So, from this diagram, we are finding that this class loader is there and this class loader is interacting with some memory areas as allocated by JVM. These memory areas will get allocated for different purposes that is our class area, heap, stack, program counter register, native method stack and so on. So, let us go for the class loader discussion at first. Class loader is a subsystem of JVM which is used to load class files. And whenever we run the Java program, it is loaded fast by the class loader and there are three built-in class loaders in Java. First one is bootstrap class loader. Second one is extension class loader. And the third one is system application class loader. So, let us discuss this bootstrap class loader, extension class loader, system application class loader separately one by one. At first we are discussing bootstrap class loader. So this is the first class loader which is the super class of extension class loader and it holds the rt.jar. So file name is rt.jar file which contains all class files of Java standard edition like our java.land package classes, java.net package classes, java.util package classes, java.io package classes, java.sql package classes etc. Now we are concentrating on extension class loader. So this is the child class loader of bootstrap and parent class loader of system class loader. So now we are going for the system oblique application class loader. So this is the child class loader of extension class loader and it loads the classifies class files rather from the class path. Now we will be concentrating those sections which will be uh, residing in the memory areas as allocated by the JVM. So the first one is the class area also it can be called as class method area. So this class method area stores power class structures such as the runtime constant pool, field and method data and code for the methods. Next one we are having the heap. So it is a runtime data area in which objects are allocated. So for the objects, the heap space will be shared. Next one, we are having this stack. So Java stack stores frames. It holds local variables and partial results and plays a part in method invocation and return. Each thread has a private JPM stack created at the same time as thread. A new frame is created each time a frame is invoked. A frame is destroyed when its method invocation completes. Now we are going for the next one that is the program counter register also known as the PC register which contains the address of the Java virtual machine instruction 
currently in execution or being executed next one we are having that is a native method stack you can in the figure you can find that one that is a native method stack it contains all the native methods used in the application now let us discuss about the execution engine so it contains three three things it contains first one is the a virtual processor next one is the interpreter and the last one is the just in time that is the jit compiler so a virtual processor will be there and next we are having the interpreter that is which read the byte stream when the execute the instructions and then we are having the JIT compiler and that is the just in time compiler and it is used to provide the performance and JIT compiles parts of the bytecode that have similar functionality at the same time and hence reduces the amount of time needed for the compilation so here is the term that is a compiler refers to a translator from the instruction set of a java virtual machine to the instruction set of a specific cpu next we are having the java native interface so there is a java native interface and this is a java native inter interface can also be known as the jni is a framework which provides an interface to communicate with another application written in another language like our c++ assembly language c etc java uses this jni framework to send output to the console or interact with the os libraries so this is the basic architecture of this JVM. Now we shall consider JRE. So what is JRE? JRE is a Java runtime environment. It provides the runtime environment for the JVM. In other words, we can say that JRE is the implementation of JVM. So this JRE is actually a set of software tools which are used for developing our Java applications. It uses library files and some other files that are needed for the JVM at the runtime. Now we shall discuss what is JDK. So Java Development Kit JDK. It is a software development environment. It uses JRE, an interpreter loader, that is a Java, a compiler, that is a Java C, in an archiver, that is a JAR, and some other important tools. JDK is an implementation of any one of the following say given Java platforms released by the Oracle Corporation. So one can be the standard edition Java platform, it can be the enterprise edition Java platform or it can be the micro edition Java platform. So in our discussion we have discussed that what is a JVM, GRE and JDK. Thanks for watching this video.